Dynamic Simulation Tutorial First, let's make the composition dimension 250 on 350. Second, let's find the right perspective for the camera view. Now we are on X axis. And let's create the camera with some standard settings. I would apply protection tag to it, so I couldn't move it by an accident. Third, we need a pass for our coffee beans. Let's create a helix and slightly adjust it, so it would perfectly fit our camera view. Click on the helix layer and press C. Now this layer is editable. Go to the points mode, select one of the helix points and press Ctrl plus A. Select scale tool and shrink it by X axis. Now all points are about to be in one row. Let's slightly adjust its position to fit our camera view. Fourth, let's import the model of coffee bean. Remove all the materials and put all these beans in one place. Press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Open your project and paste it with Ctrl plus V. And put the models to the cloner. Go to the cloner settings. Change the mode to object. And for the object, select our helix. In distribution tab, select step and let's make the bits bigger. To properly animate the growth along the path, we need to turn off per segment. Let's decrease the distance between them. Let's animate the end property. So on the zero frame we will have 0% and on the 100th frame we will have 100%. Add simulation tag, rigid body, so they could interact with each other. Now they've fallen due to the gravity. To fix this, let's adjust settings in the first step. Position and rotation set to 5 or 6. Now they tend to stick to each other. Let's make the coffee beans even bigger, so we have more interaction between them. Looks pretty good, but let's randomize their scale and rotation, because now they are all in one direction. Make sure that you clicked on the cloner, then go to the Mograph, Effector and choose Random. We don't need random effect in position, right? So we will turn it off. But we need random effect in scale and rotation. So let's turn it on and put some values there. Now it looks amazing. If you want, you can select the helix layer, then go to the point mode and move some of the points. So the center part of the helix will be a bit higher than its sides. So basically this is it. And the last thing that I want to mention, you can play with the speed of animation graphs to achieve the best results. Since this tutorial is about dynamic simulation and not about texturing or lighting technique, the following part of the video will be without voiceover, just the making process speed it up in two times, so if you have a wish you can follow the process. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content.